launching pad in Sedona, Arizona. This is the Progressive Technology Hour, and I'm your host, Dr. Houdini. I would like to welcome you to a truly unique talk show program that focuses on exotic technologies. What are exotic technologies? Well, this includes such areas as free energy, gravity, anti-gravity control, the study of the nature of time, and time travel. We'll explore not only the technology, but also the how-to part of the technology. So let's have some fun today and explore the world of exotic technologies. Folks, I have a very special returning guest today, and uh, his research is into scalar wave technologies and also a very fascinating topic here that we're going to be talking about, neutrino power. And his name is Professor Dr. Constantine Miles. Professor Miles teaches the subject of power electronics and alternative energy technology at the University of Applied Sciences in Furtwagen, Germany. Being a 15-year-old pupil, he already carried out the first measurements on eddy current breaks. His dissertation at the Technical University of Munich back in 1979, as well as his doctoral thesis at the University of Stuttgart, in 1984, were dedicated through three-dimensional calculations of eddy currents. You know, I first met Dr. Miles at the Tesla Tech 2007 conference, which uh, was held over there in um, Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, folks, you can go to my website, and I provide the link uh, on Achieve Radio here, uh, that you can go and check out this um, very fascinating conference. And Dr. Mile gave a really fascinating uh, discussion here. And uh, part of his research, of course, deals with neutrinos and um, how they're interacting with the core of our planet. And he has a very fascinating theory in regards to the expanding Earth theory. And we're going to talk with Dr. Miles today about this. And you know, folks, there was an interesting movie out, um, which is probably still playing at some theaters. I uh, actually, I, I, I kind of recommend it to the listeners out here to check it out. And it's a movie called 2012. And it's interesting to note that the start of the movie, you know, the first 20 minutes, deals with this neutrino interaction with the core of the planet. And how uh, in 2012, uh, you know, the prediction is that uh, there's going to be this massive uh, neutrino output coming from the sun, which, of course, is interacting with the core of the planet and causing all these uh, incredible natural disasters. And, um, you know, th there's also something else that's very interesting here uh, in regards to Nikola Tesla. And, you know, I want to read this interesting note here about Nikola Tesla. Um, he wrote a similar theory back in 1935, folks, 1935, involving something Tesla called a primary substance. Tesla wrote in the New York Herald Tribune, and I quote, condensation of the primary substance is going on continuously. This being in a measure proved, for I have established by experiments which admit of no doubt that the sun and other celestial bodies steadily increase in mass and energy and ultimately must explode, reverting to their primary substance. Now, isn't that a fascinating uh, paragraph here from Nikola Tesla? Hmm, something to really think about, folks. So uh, without further ado here, I'd like to welcome uh, Dr. Mile. Dr. Mile, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Bill. Uh, hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Yeah. So what do you think about uh, Nikola Tesla's, um, you know, what he wrote about here? Do you have any thoughts? 
Well, the measurements of a neutrino flux uh, are very new, and uh, Tesla could not uh, have known at that time that uh, the neutrino is interacting with the core of the Earth. And uh, this has been measured by the big uh, neutrino detectors, ju just like um, the Kamiokande detector. And it's only a few years ago that uh, we have got the results that these uh, interaction uh, happens. And now the physicists uh, discuss because they have measured on daytime two times more a neutrino flux than on nighttime. That means 50% of the neutrino flux uh, has interacted with the core of the Earth, and now oh, they are yeah. discussing. And now they are discussing whether these uh, these neutrinos uh, have changed their properties, or uh, whether they have uh, been absorbed. That means they they still are uh, in the core, and they change. They materialized perhaps uh, into matter, and uh, they are uh, they let the Earth grow. So this is uh, the problem we are discussing today, and um, they are preparing new experiments, and they want to measure all all sorts of oscillating uh, neutrinos they know, so uh, that uh, they can be sure at the end that they have measured really everything. Um, okay, well, so doctor, this is a big doctor, problem. Yeah, uh, let, let me stop you right there. You said mm -hmm. two and a half times. The, the difference between night and day, is that correct? It's true. Yes, it's, uh, two times more. At night time, we have only half. We have measured half of the ah. neutrino, neutrinos uh, coming from the sun. That means the solar neutrinos. Okay, okay. So we're seeing some sort of interaction inside yeah. the planet. And we know that the interaction of neutrinos is only the, the uh, weak interaction, and uh, this interaction they have measured is much more, so that we are able to um, to change uh, the physics and the ideas of physics, the basics of physics are wrong, and uh, this really is a big problem. Well, you know, it, it seems to me, just, just in this little paragraph that Nisla, that Tesla wrote about in, in the New York Herald, uh, it seems like he knew something about this. Now, of course, he didn't have the name neutrino. Now, he just refers to a primary substance. The, the but name it seems is like newer. Nikolai had the, the gist of the idea here that the planet, you know, that not only the sun, but also the uh uh, the planets are increasing in mass. That's increasing right. In mass and energy over time. Uh, that's right. Um, uh, Nikola Tesla has um, uh, developed uh, the neutrino uh, long before Pauli has founded the name. And Pauli was in uh, 1936 when he was um, uh, calculating the uh, energy balance of the beta decay of n neutrons, and he has found out that the uh, energy balance of energy is not fulfilled. And this is why he postulated particles he called neutrinos, and he said these particles um, are carrying the energy and the impulse, but these um, particles have no mass and no charge, which is a conflict in physics. And um, this conflict uh, always had been um, well covered by uh, the opinion that these uh, particles uh, are only postulated, they do not exist in reality. But in 1956, um, um, Davis uh, Jr., I think it was, in, in America, they uh, did the first experiments and they proved that these neutrino flux uh, exist in reality. And in 2002, the uh, Nobel Prize had been given to the uh, detection of neutrino. So these neutrinos are not only a postulation anymore, they exist in reality. 
and uh, now the uh, measurements of today show uh, the quantity of these uh, neutrino particles and we know that they are carrying a lot of energy and we have a lot of particles and they really exist and and they carry more energy than the world needs for the hunger of energy Mm-hmm. So, so this would be a solution, but the problem is how uh, to interact with these particles. And mm-hmm. Nikola Tesla uh, wrote in the New York Times, I don't know the, the date when it was, but he was writing that um, there is a, a radiation coming from uh, the sun and from other bodies in, in space. Um, uh, with uh, very small, very small, and with a very weak interaction that uh, um, um, gives the possibility that these particles uh, are not um, interacting with the Earth. That means that they are able to cross the Earth, the whole, the whole uh, Earth, uh, without um, being um, well slowed down. Um, that you are able to measure it. So this uh, result Tesla has proved. So he is the real developer of um, neutrinos and mm. not uh, Pauli. Well, you know, uh, you know, in, in his, hmm? well, you know, doctor, in this paragraph here, he mentions, you know, for I, you know, and I quote here, for I have established by experiments. So he. He must have uh, a series of experiments yeah. that uh, proves the the existence of these neutrinos. Uh, that's right, uh, and this is why I have reproduced uh, these experiments. I think in our last show uh, we discussed uh, these experiments, right. and. Um, and I uh, have reproduced uh, the experiments and I've shown that he is right. So uh, um, as no particle uh, we know has these property to um, pass through uh, solid matter, then only the um, neutrino, uh, this proves that Tesla really has developed, he is the developer of neutrinos. So mm-hmm. this is provable. And um, another question is how he did it and how to reproduce it. And uh, my way is that I always look at the nature, how the nature is doing it, and uh, I want to learn from it. And um, then I'm, I think I'm quicker because uh, the nature is using uh, such possibilities like uh, using the power of, N- of uh, neutrinos uh, since a long time, longer than our technology is. And uh, uh, the biggest converter in our environment uh, using neutrino flux is the, is the Earth itself. Mm-hmm. So. This is what we want to talk to, uh, about today. And um, uh, nowadays, uh, it's not very long ago, I think uh, three years, uh, the NASA in America has published, NASA has published uh, um, measurements of the Earth uh, showing, showing a map. Um, and I think you have this map. I have found it on your, on your uh, page that um, um, uh, this uh, this map, uh, because I have shown it uh, as well on this conference in Salt Lake City, and I think you have the slates on your uh, homepage. Is it right, Bill? Um, well, you know, I have, uh, okay, uh, with your lecture, you show mm-hmm. a world map. And, yes, um, and yes, the listeners the out map. there... It's, it's in the second line, and the second line in the middle. There you see the map, um, on, and this map shows it uh, was measured, um, uh, shows the Earth, and uh, inside with red lines you have those places where the Earth is uh, uh, spreading off. There are the differences between two points are getting more and more year by year and you have it uh, uh, marked in centimeters and uh, uh, with blue lines you have subduction where 